Hi, my name is Amanda Rama, and today I have a very special guest, Randy Nugent. <gasps> the cop got up to Mr. Producing the complaint in the fall. Tell us about the complaint. A Hispanic actor, young Hispanic actor, gets arrested for possession of marijuana and with intent to distribute according to the cop. And so he files a complaint of excessive force on this police officer. This cop uses a beautiful young rookie. He sends a young woman rookie in undercover to entrap this actor and get even for that complaint letter. And that's really the, the log line. I want to go further than that, this young rookie is really an internal affairs officer who is actually trying to get the cop. Some of the themes deal with racism. Where did that idea come from for you? The play was inspired by an interaction I had with a police officer. It was actually on 9-11. Uh, I was in Iowa and I was riding my bike on the sidewalk. Uh, an officer stopped me. It, apparently that's against the law in Iowa. <clears throat> and so he, he, he really gave it to me. He gave me a ticket for riding on the sidewalk. He checked my ID. He acted as if I was some kind of a terrorist in a way. Maybe, it was, maybe he was reacting to that day. I don't know. But I was profoundly affected by that accosting. You never actually complained. I didn't complain. But I did write a play. Yeah. And I used that anger. My instigation, too, of writing the play is because I think the drug laws are unfair. And so in my research, I realized that marijuana was really illegalized because it was a racist illegalization. It started in California in the very early 1900s. It was a reaction against the Mexican migrants. And so I thought that even the fact that that law exists has a certain amount of racism in it. Shaw said something very simple and very illuminating. He said all comedy is based on a misunderstanding. And the impetus of the play was, I wanted my main character, my, my Hispanic actor, to misunderstand romance. And so he, he actually meets this woman when she's undercover, playing a certain character. And then midway through the play, she becomes his arresting officer. And then later on in the play, she becomes his savior. So there's a misunderstanding. He goes through three perception shifts with this woman he, who he is attracted to, and that was really the spine of the play. There's a play within a play in this play. There is a play within the play. My actor is about to do a tour of a play, and that's what's at stake in a way. If he's arrested, he won't be able to do this tour. He rewrites, has it turned to the importance of being earnest, which has own, at least the uh, the parallel of secrets, of yeah. people, of uh, uh, false impressions of you know who you are. What do you think makes the complaint an optimistic play? Well, for sure, since it's a comedy, it takes something wrong with the world. It looks at what might be what we are bitching about and doesn't destroy anything. You know, the play does take a bad cop off the streets, or at least makes him pay. Innocence triumphs or... Innocence triumphs. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming and talking with us. Told you that we were going to go to strip club together and so that I could get him to do this interview. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I thought I'd put on the outfit just and so that you'd feel more at home. Very nice. Uh, at you. my strip joint I usually enjoy a buffet. Uh, the, the strip joints I go to generally have a lunch buffet, so I'm a little disappointed with that, but you look great. Mm -hmm. Fall and enjoy the show. I got the heels on and everything. <laughs>